So today I'm going to be doing my June and July manga wrap up and there's a very large stack of manga here and it's not even all of the digital stuff either. So let's get right into it. I'm going to try to break these up by um, months, but um, some of them I read series over months, so I'm just going to talk about them together. So let us start with June. The theme of June and July for me was Chihaya Furu. I read so much Chihaya Furu. I am completely caught up now and I put that digital subscription on um, so I just get it. I pay for it, it's pre-ordered or it's subscribed to, so I just get the new volumes uh, downloaded to my iPad once they come out because I cannot wait that long. <laughs> so I think I read volumes 8 to 26 because 27 just came out until I think volume 17 is free to read if you have a Kindle Unlimited subscription or a Comixology Unlimited subscription um, or any of those kind of like unlimited things that Kodansha has. Um, so um, I read up until that point um, for the unlimited subscription and then the other volumes I actually got for a really good deal through Comixology. I think there was a um, sale going on so everything was like half off and I got the rest of the manga for like $25. It was great. I loved it so much. Okay, so Chihaya Of course there are a lot of volumes in here so I'm not going to talk about each one of them um, specifically. Through volume 26 is where the last season of the anime ends. So um, it takes you all the way up to their third year in high school um, for Chihaya and Taichi's third year. Um, and you get to see um, the master match, the master and the queen match. Um, there is relationship things between Chihaya and Arata and Chihaya and Taichi. Um, so you get to see them go back to the uh, high school tournament. Um, so it was, it's so good. Like I cannot talk about how much I love Chihaya Furu so much. It is such a beautiful, well-written, <laughs> manga. Uh, you have all the thrills of sports anime, um, just the emotions, just the last, like, the last few volumes I was um, reading them in the car on the way back from um, this vacation that I went on and I had to tell my boyfriend who was driving, I was like, I'm gonna read this manga and I'm gonna cry. <laughs> and I did. Anytime I talk about Chihaya Furu, um, I normally post a bunch of screen caps on my Twitter. Um, from the manga and it's just it's just so good and I wish it was in print um so yeah um it's just it was just a lot highly recommend Chihaya Furu like literally just read the first 18 on like Kindle or Comixology Unlimited and you will be hooked and you'll have to read the rest or if you just want to watch all three seasons of the anime then just do that and then just start reading the new volumes but it, yeah so Chihaya Furu so so good so next I read volumes one and two of The King's Beast by Rei Toma so this is about um there's like this world where there are people who are like beast people and then there's regular humans and the beast people, although they're really powerful, they are kind of like second class citizens. So this is about um, Rangatsu who, um, though she's a girl, kind of masquerades as a boy to um, rise the ranks and becomes the, um, what is it, the emperor? No, a prince's like bodyguard. And they're basically out for a revenge, a uh, dead twin brother. Um, so. This is pretty interesting. Um, I am definitely gonna have to give it another volume. I don't really know where it's going. It's honestly been a while since I've read it and it didn't really leave like a huge impression on me, but um, the art in this is like really, really nice. Yeah, there's like really nice art in here and um, it seems interesting. I kind of am like starting to like like revenge plots and see where those go. So um, I'm interested to find out. Um, more about this like look this art is so good so yeah t to be honest I don't remember a ton about this I know I kind of liked it um so I definitely want to keep reading it yeah I definitely need to read more to give a full impression I feel very bad because that was not a good summary next up I read volumes two and three of 
those not so sweet boys which is like my new like high school romance obsession i feel like i have a new one um like every season <laughs> so yeah those not so sweet boys really really enjoying this manga it's actually moving pretty quickly um we already have like a secondary love interest end of three was kind of a cliffhanger and um i need the next volume like so bad i really really need the 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 next volume um i am obsessed with this story i don't know how other people feel about it but i find all of the characters um really great um i love the kind of like romancy aspects of it i want to know why um this blonde haired boy is such a dick to our main character um and i just i just really enjoy reading this because it's just so pretty to look at like look at this it's so nice uh yoko nogiri's art like does not disappoint it is so like light that's the word i want to use for it. it's so light it feels it just feels so good i love it so much i'm obsessed with this um i can't wait to read more i don't think the next volume comes out for like a long time like the very end of the year if not next year but then i read volume 30 of yona of the dawn and oh this volume oh my god oh my god oh my god things happen there is danger there is things you have been wanting to happen for the whole manga and they happen and i'm not gonna spoil too much of it but um it is so so good hawk is in just like full force protective mode in this and it's like there's tension and there it just made me scream i just scri screamed the whole time while reading this yona of the dawn i mean everybody loves yona of the dawn but um it's Oh, it's so good. It's kind of um, wraps up the big conflict. Um, the volume after this, which I have already read because it's already out by the time I'm reading it, filming this. Um, but the volume after this um, is definitely the start of a new arc, and this is the end of the kind of the Sen Province arc, I guess. Um, it's the end of that, so you get the climax of the conflict, and it's so good. I was just screaming screaming so next i read um volumes four through seven of the demon prince of momochi house by ayashuto shoto sorry shoto something like that so this manga um first off i finally found volume four this has been out of print forever um it must have been a return to a barnes and noble because i found it just in the store randomly and the back of it um you i don't know if you can see it but the like i guess the protective plastic that or the plastic layer of the cover that makes it like shiny is coming up so that's why i think it was a return and there's a little bit of like damage here but i'm not one who is like super um, particular about the condition of my manga of course i don't want it to be super messed up but um i this doesn't bother me because it gets banged i throw manga in my backpack all the time and it gets banged up anyway so if it comes with a little like wear and tear that is fine i also um buy a lot of secondhand manga so like what am i gonna do so um the imprints of momochi house where are the rest of the volumes so i read four five six and seven demon prince of momochi house is cute but um i don't think it's like my favorite i haven't read too many like of these like kind of spirit ayakashi um yokai sort of shoujo romances but i feel like maybe having some kiss is better than this i haven't read it that one is much more popular than this um but i mean it's it's pretty cute i think maybe right now we're in a lull of the series um, there was a really good plot with um, like a childhood friend and a possible other love interest that of course I like better than the one the girl is supposed to be with <laughs> and it's not gonna happen um, you just know it um, so yeah I'm definitely going to continue with this series um, because I have all of it um, but I don't know I'll have to make a judgment at the end of the series um, if I really really like it um, but I mean they're they're fu it's fun to read um, and I do like the sort of um, yokai ayakashi 
sort of romance setting. So um, yeah, this is kind of like middle of the road for me currently. Maybe it gets better towards the end. The seven, at seven volumes, I think I'm about halfway through. So maybe we'll see how the, the second half goes. I also read volumes um, 10 and 11 of Queen's Quality. And then in July, volume 12 came out. You all know how I feel about Queen's Quality. It is so, so good. Um, it's such a dark shoujo romance. The, ro I, the romance in this is insane. It's insane. It is so good. The characters, they communicate their feelings to each other. The romance is so good. These characters are so close, like emotionally and physically that their, their relationship is so like believable and I love it so much. And now we have this um, plot of the silver sea snake and um, the other, like I guess snakes and Kyutaro possessed by one. Um, so we've got, I don't know, we've got this new, like, darker, bigger plot camp coming on. I feel like the, like, conflict just keeps on getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and the stakes get higher, higher and higher because now Qtaro's life is on the line, and I just, I just, I just love it. Um, and Qtaro and Fumi are just so supportive of each other. They help each other out in everything, and I am... I'm obsessed. You all, you know, I am obsessed. So, ah, I really cannot wait until volume 13 comes out. I don't even know when volume 13 comes out. I have to pre-order it. Um, but it's so good. Just look at this. Just look at this cover. Just look at it. Look, look at it. And the art is so good. Um, Kyutaro is such a good shoujo hero. Like, mm, I love it. 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 July. So the end of July started the Manga Olympics too. So I'm not going to talk too much about what I read because that's going to be in my Manga Olympics wrap up. But um, I did read one manga series. <laughs> so I read all seven volumes of An Incurable Case of Love. So this is a Jose series and it is like a hospital romance. Um, you have, uh, I can't remember anybody's name. Oh, Nana say she um, sees a doctor, a young doctor, save a woman's life and then she resolves, she wants to become a nurse so she can meet this doctor again and tell him that she loves him. And she does that and then she finds out that he is a super grouchy, um, mean doctor that nobody likes. And um, from there, their relationship um, grows and evolves and it is so so good. I love Dr. Tendo so much. He is the perfect amount of like grouchy and like, I don't know. He's just, I just like him. Like, why do I like this grouchy man? I would not like that in real life, but I do love this grouchy doctor. Um, so I had a really great time with this. I actually only owned the first six volumes and then I read all six volumes in one night and I was like, I need the seventh volume and I had to run out and go find it because I needed to finish the series. I didn't think I would love it so much, but I actually do. So it was a nice change of pace to read a kind of like um, tropey romance um, about adult characters. Things about this manga <laughs> that um, bothered me. I didn't really understand um, the situation that Nanase was in. like. It seemed like she was still like a med student or not a med student, like a nursing student, but it seems like she's just like a first year nurse that still needed like training on the job training before she can be like um, unsupervised, you know? And just like some of the medical stuff doesn't seem like that's the way it would be, but we're not, we're not reading this for the realistic realistic medical setting. We are reading this for the hot doctor, but yeah, I really, really enjoyed this manga. I want to read more Jose romance now. Um, so if you have any, if you have know of anything that is along these lines, um, I would really appreciate that. I already read Something's Wrong With Us. I really, really loved this. Um, I had a lot of fun with it. I even started watching the live action drama for it, which was really good. It stars Sato Takeru as Dr. Tendo. 
um, who's a little skinnier than I thought, than I feel like he is drawn here, but you can't go wrong with uh, Sato's Hakeru, so yeah. Next, I think, is the stuff that I read for the Manga Olympics. I'm just gonna kind of go over what I read, um, and you'll get more thoughts in my Manga Olympics vlog. Um, so first off, I read um, Kakegi Shoujo, The Curtain Rises. This I had started previously. I only read like maybe a chapter of it, and um, so I finished it up, and um, really, really great. Um, I've started tabbing my manga, um, so to kind of like, I don't know, I want to um, talk a little bit more about this, but maybe in a different sort of video. Um, but this manga um, is really, really good. Um, definitely like a girl power manga, I want to say. Um, but it's about all these girls who are, are in a theater school to train to become part of this all-female um, theater group. I think it's called, like the style of theater is called Takarazuka. Um, so it's kind of like, um, they're really like big, um, kind of like Broadway style musicals, um, but the fem a whole cast is all female, um, so the girls play the male parts. Um, also, I do want to put a few trigger warnings on this because it deals with um, eating disorders, stalking, um, imposter syndrome, that sort of thing. So um, it's a little bit dark in tone, I feel like, this one, um, especially compared to volume one of the main series, which I also read. This is a little more of, um, a little more lighthearted than this volume was. There's definitely some dark moments in this, um, but I feel like most of the sub subject matter um, is, um, the heavy, heavy subject matter is in the prequel. So, um, yeah, that was really good. Then I read volume two of Starcrossed by Junko, and I love this. Um, it's a body switching romance um, where a girl gets to switch bodies with her favorite idol, and it is so fun and hilarious. I love it because I love the idol culture. Uh, Chika is, seems like he would be in an idol group that I, the type of idol group that I really like. So um, it's just really fun for the like kind of idol fan aspect of it. And it's just like a fun time. So I really like this. Next, I read Honey and Clover volume one. Um, this is about a bunch of college students in art school and it's kind of them figuring out what they want to do in their life. Um, so you have Takemoto who is an architecture student and um, he and his friends um, end up meeting. Yeah, they meet Haku who is like a very, very talented, like genius level um, artist. And she's kind of this like small, like sweet childlike girl, but she is 18. Um, but I really like this manga so far. It's definitely um, got um, adult characters there in college and they're kind of, a lot of them are kind of, it spans like first years in college through uh, like fourth years in college. So it's a coming of age manga, but as um, coming of age as adults. So you've already picked a career path or something you want to study and it's figuring out what you want to do with that and where you go from there and kind of like jumping into this like actual adult world. So really, really um, liked this. I have a bunch of other volumes of this and I can't wait to read the rest of it. And I read volume one of The Sacrificial Princess and the King of Beasts and I am not super keen about this. It just seems very weird with the romance and the very childlike character and the very adult beast type of character. So um, I have another volume of this um, and I'm going to give that a shot and then maybe one more volume depending on where that the second one goes. But yeah, I'm not super, super thrilled about this one. And then finally, I read volume seven of Fruits Basket <laughs> and it was so good. I am totally on board the Toru and Kyo shipping train. I want them together be together so much. I talked about it in my like reading Fruits Basket for the first time, the last um, video I did for it. I talked about how Toru and Kyo are like positioned in a way where 
they're very obviously going to end up together. Um, at least at this point in the manga. I don't know. Please don't tell me. I'm trying to avoid spoilers and I've avoid them, avoided them for my entire weep life. Very um, traumatic. It has, um, um, what is her name? Shoot. I can't, I'm very bad with names. I apologize. And especially in Fruits Basket, um, because I, I am not, I am not good with it. Um, but the horse girl, Rin? Is that her name? Rin? I think that's her name. I don't know. I need a character chart when I read Fruits Basket. Um, so yeah, super good. I talked about this more in, I'm going to talk about this more in my, um, manga Olympics wrap up. And then also once I finish the next two volumes of this, I will go in much, much more detail, um, about what I thought about this. Hence all of the tabs. So I think that is all of the manga that I read in June and July. Um, if I forgot anything, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me know if you have read any of this manga. Um, definitely recommendations for more like an incurable case of love because I am kind of um, not well versed in the Jose aspect of things. Lots of stuff I really liked, um, a few things I wasn't super keen on, but nothing I like outright hated. I apologize that this video is kind of all over the place. I'm very tired right now. Um, what else is new? But um, yeah, so if you've read any of these, please let me know if you've read them. Uh, let me know your thoughts, your feelings, that sort of thing. I made it to the end of this video. Um, put a, um, what kind of emoji are we gonna do? We are gonna do a, um, just put a sunflower emoji. I love sunflowers. Um, so put a sunflower emoji in the comments if you have made it to the end of this video because I know it is a long one. All right, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more manga goodness from me. And um, you can also hit the notification bell so you know right when I upload a new video. That is all we got for you guys today. I'm Chrissy Lou, until next time, bye time.